Hello, hello everybody, I'm Happy Bacon Trouble 7 and welcome to World of Warships. Oh yes, do not let your eyes deceive you, this is not War Thunder, this is a whole new different game. Oh yes, I know. The only other, it's funny, the only other games I've played on my channel are War Thunder and uh, a bunch of those Flash games I've been kind of pushed way back into the nothingness, they're just gone into the ether. But you know what, I've been playing more of World of Warships because I <laughs> cannot stand the War Thunder naval system, so I've been getting more into this game. I've played a lot, and I do mean a lot. I've, I've, I've got some hours in this game, but you know what? What better ship to pull out for the very first time, the very first time on the channel, than the St. Louis Tier 3? This thing is a beast. It's got everything you want. It's got a little bit of armor. It is bristling with 10 cannons, well, 10 main cannons, Five on each side. Well, pretty much. I mean, you got some swivel guns on the bow and stern section. You got an unbelievable amount of secondaries. And yeah, it's a whole bunch of fun. You know what? Let's try it out. Let's uh, pull it in. Let's see how much lives we can ruin at low tier with the St. Louis. Oh my gosh. I am not going to lie. The color gradient that I'm dealing with right now. Oh my gosh. God, it's so bright. I mean, compared to the likes of War Thunder, oh man, it just feels like I've got flashbanged. But yes, it's uh, very similar to, uh, well, I wouldn't say it's similar to uh, War Thunder, but uh, it's it's pretty simple. You just you just go to wherever you want to go and you just uh, keep on hammering down that mouse one button until the whoever is you're uh, shooting at is dead. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to follow our team, go over to Charlie, going to sit in Charlie, and we are going to have some fun. I think I saw a dolphin. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, dolphin. Oh, what? yeah, I will say World of Warships definitely takes the winner on uh, airplanes, though. Oh, look at that. I will say the anti-air for War Thunder is way, way better. But the problem is, and this is a problem that I've uh, I, I've been wondering how, how they could fix it, but for War Thunder, the anti-air is so effective and so, uh, numerous. It, you can't get by in that game being a naval bomber and trying to go near enemy ships. It just doesn't happen. Well, unfortunately, we have our very first victim, so we are just going to, like I said, just hold down the first mouse button and let it rain. Who is that? It. Oh, you know what? Okay, this is a bot. So, we are... Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Scary health bars. So, yeah, we're just gonna hold down the mouse one button and wait until he uh, perishes. Oh, yes. Truly, truly riveting gameplay. This is, uh, this is a very, very nice ship, though. I mean, for Tier 3, it's very easy to access. You get it pretty much. I mean, you can get Tier 3 as soon as you play the game. So it's a pretty cool ship. I will say the high explosive is very nice, but you do have 152s. So if you want, you can use the uh, AP shells, and you can probably deal some significantly more damage. But of course, uh, with lower tiers, in this game, there's a lot, uh, they use a lot of over-penetration uh, mechanics. So if I were to shoot, oh, I don't know, that cruiser in the distance, the problem is if I try to shoot him with AP, if I don't aim for what's called the Citadel in this game, I will deal next to nothing. I mean, one of the shell hit registers is over-penetration and the, it does no damage. So that's why a lot of people, including myself, just when you pull out something like the St. Louis, you just use high explosive because it's almost guaranteed damage. You can set people on fire and you can deal quite a bit of damage stacked up over time. Well, I'm looking at the minimap right now. We got a bunch of dive bombers trying to come in. We're going to go hard right rudder. They are coming in. Who's that from? That's from a Langley. Can we dodge it? Yes, sir. We have dodged it. Unfortunately, I don't think I actually have any anti-air. I've got no anti-air whatsoever, which I thought I did. That is very weird. So let's, uh, wow, he's actually not coming back for me. Okay, I'll, uh, I'm happy with that. 
So we're just gonna keep on just pounding on this battleship and see if we can get the kill. It, of course, it's another AI. The bad thing about this game is, well, I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, but at these lower tiers, there's a lot of bots. And that's just because a lot of the player base is at a higher level. And that's just, uh, I mean, unfortunate thing with a lot of these games, they, they don't get enough of new uh, player base to kind of soak up the lower tiers. I mean, it kind of does help to have bots, especially at lower tiers, so you don't have people, you know, like myself, just absolutely ravaging the lower tiers. And so it's a good learning place for, you know, new people. I think this guy is almost dead. Let's see if we can just keep on holding it down. Just 300, 600. Okay, he's dead. Nice. All right, situation update. There is, I believe, just players left. So I'm definitely going to pay much more attention. I think they're all over at Alpha. I think their enemy carrier, which is the guy that's been flying around all these planes, I believe he's somewhere over here. So I'm angling my ship kind of this way to hopefully be able to spot him. But at the same time, hoping to provide some fire support to hopefully knock out my uh, my opponent, St. Louis. Oh, but what would there be any fun by trying to run away on the other side of that hill? So, ooh, what I'm thinking is, since it's an enemy St. Louis, I'm actually gonna load up some AP shells, and my plan is I'm hoping to, to just curve around this mountain and just lob as much AP shells. I'm hoping I can Citadel him and show just how much you can nuke an enemy player if, I mean, if you if you can do citadels at low tiers, it's kind of ridiculous. But hitting citadels at lower tiers, I don't know why, but it's just so much more difficult. And I think it's down to the citadels, just they're just way lower in the waterline at lower tiers for hey, you know for whatever reason. Got some torpedo planes right there. Oh, this oh uh, yep, the St. Louis already has the same idea that we had. So look at that, just already three thousand damage. AP shells do do a lot more damage than the high explosive. So we're trying to aim at that water line. All right, 1,200. He's really trying to get his torpedoes off. We cannot allow that. We're just going to give all of our guns on, well, to bear on him. See if we can get that water line. No, no luck. He is getting shot by other people, so we do have a lot of support that way. The torpedo planes are trying to drop in front of me, so I'm just going to keep on heading down this way. St. Louis is probably good as dead. Uh-oh. Oh. Ah, yeah, my front cannons. I can't bear them on the target. Ah, uh, 1,700. Okay, I can live with that. I'm probably going to run aground with this, but I want to get everything on bear right there. There we go. Wow, you know what? That was another, that was actually a really good St. Louis player. If I, uh, if I was just fighting him alone, I would probably have died. But thankfully my team was there. So they always back me up. I'm always happy with that. So now we are going to hunt ourselves that aircraft carrier. Ooh, we are getting closer and closer to that aircraft carrier. They got their attack planes right there. I don't think he's going to attack just yet. Yes, he is. Going to turn hard, try to avoid that good we were able to avoid that oh yeah that aircraft carrier is definitely over oh yeah oh yeah he just spawned in some planes over there definitely over there so i don't think we're gonna have to worry about those planes we're still going to turn try to avoid taking any damage also get our other turrets on there ah, he's not going that fast we're going to launch him right there he missed again that is good now, the cool thing about lower tier aircraft carriers is they have so low armor, you can probably just citadel them with high explosive. And I think the citadel zone on the Langley is at the back. There she is. Oh, citadel hits are always nice. They deal a considerable amount of more damage. So, like before, oh my goodness, another citadel. Just gonna hold down that mouse one button, we're gonna go to town. Oh, wow, yeah, these torpedo planes just came out of nowhere. Well, I mean, they're obviously coming to me. Let's see if we can dodge these torpedoes. I think we're going to have to take one on the nose. Nope, we dodge it. Nice, victory. 
Oh, you know, I was wondering why I didn't have any anti-air that whole time. I could have sworn there was anti-air on the St. Louis. Yeah, I completely forgot to mount them. But basically, I mean, shoot, you get better 152s. You get that for, I think, yeah, you get more main batteries. Look at that. You go from 10 to 14, and then you get more firing range. So, yeah, don't be me. Make sure you buy your, uh, your equipment. Oh, yeah, look. Okay, yes. Now, now we're ready to see. Oh, and it's pure white. Oh, that looks, that looks beautiful. Anti-air. It's, I mean, it's, to be fair, it's really crappy anti-air, but it's better than nothing. Oh, yeah. This is what you call in World of Warships a full down tier. This is going to be pretty brutal for the enemy team, so we're just going to go northbound. We are going to just lock our uh, cannons on the bearing, which is so cool. You, This way you can just look around. You don't have to worry about your guns filling around left and right, left and right. You just tell them, hey, stay in one position, and it works. I think they got something like that in War Thunder, but you know what? I can't remember because I haven't played the naval there in, uh, well, obviously quite some time. As we are sailing towards the east, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about why I'm playing World of Warships in the first place. So... I, it's obvious that my channel is mainly a War Thunder channel, just by the amount of content that I have over there, mainly War Thunder. But I'll be honest, guys, I don't want to just do War Thunder, and I know that might, I hope that doesn't uh, disappoint a lot of people, but I want to play other games, you know, I want to showcase other games that other people may not have access to, and I want to have fun, and... Have fun with you guys playing these games and well you know making gameplay making content and showing you guys just what some of these games are don't get me wrong i'm not gonna stop making war thunder i'm just gonna do other games war Th i mean world of warships is just one of the games i'm gonna play i'm planning to dip my toes into enlisted i'm going to yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm planning to do a whole bunch of games. And if you guys have any ideas of what games you want to see, I'll be totally down to play it. It's kind of uh, reminiscent of my whole uh, Flash game thing that I used to have. Oh, three Citadels. Oh, yeah, see, when they hit, they hit hard. Yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of my whole uh, Flash game little thing that I was doing. All right, let's see if we can just knock this Dresden out of the water right here. Oh, let's see if we can, how much Citadels can we get with this? Oh, see, tons of more penetrations. The thing is with German ships in this game is they got, a, I don't think the Dresden has it. I mean, it might, but they got a lot of that turtleback armor, so it's so hard to do Citadels. And we've got the other player coming up right over here. But yeah, I mean, I am just, I'm like really excited to, you know, play other games. I'm not going to go off the walls just yet. Like, yeah, don't expect me to start suddenly swapping to something like, you know, Farming Simulator. Like right off the bat. No, I'm, I'm going to still stay within the realms of War thunder E type of things. And I think that is a St. Louis type of, what is that? I think that's an Italian ship. So, yeah, we're just gonna stick with AP because he's showing his broadside, which is very nice. Just going to... let's get another salvo in. For some reason, my shots are way off. Alright, well, time to hold down the mouse one button. And I think this'll do it. Come on, he's got, uh, there, oh, of course it's the last shell that hits the ship that actually causes the Citadel. Okay, yeah, that's nice. They were capturing our base, but not, uh, not anymore. That is good. So now we can do the fun thing of being in the complete opposite side of the map with nothing to do. Uh, I don't know. Hey, look, a mountain. So we've got a destroyer right here that's completely harassing our little buddy right here. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's just trying to run away. Oh, he's going full steam ahead on him. But unfortunately, he's got to fight a St. Louis right around the corner. Ooh, we got some torpedoes right there. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got land. That is, that's never going to run to the land. We're going to actually gonna keep on going. 
Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep on going, turn right. Because what he's gonna do, he's probably gonna launch torpedoes at me. I don't want to take a torpedo. Let's get that. Come on. There we go. Yes, sir. Good. We are in a good position right now. He is saved. Awesome. We only got one more little bot, and that's it. Nice. I love a good team. Oh, yeah. I will definitely say, if you haven't uh, played this game before, the St. Louis is always a very, very easy choice to go for. Because of all the ships in the game for low tiers, I definitely... I truly believe the St. Louis is probably the best, like, noob-friendly ship. You got so many guns. You got a good amount of hit points. The speed's alright, concealment's good. It doesn't have really any anti-air, but you don't have to deal with a whole lot of planes at this, uh, tier. Plus, I'll, let's be honest, a lot of these low- a lot of the lower tier aircraft carriers are garbage to begin with. So, even if they're planes, you don't really don't have to worry about them. But yeah, I'm, I'm not going to make this uh, video very long. This I'm going to cut it off right here. I It was just me dipping my toes into a different game. Like I said, I'm really excited to try out other games. I might continue to play some more War Thunder. Might continue to play this game. In, or I might do something listed, Hell at Loose, Postscriptum. I'm, and you know what? I said I wouldn't go very far into the deep end. But who knows? I might just go ahead and launch the whole bacon emblem into city building and farm simulators who knows i'm really excited and if you guys have any recommendations please don't hesitate to reach out and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you next time goodbye